Welcome to Guys Talk Knives. I'm Andy. <laughs> How slow could you say that? I'm Jason. <laughs> Welcome guess, to Guys I, dot, 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 Talk dot, 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 Knives. I, it's the Ellipses show. I could totally do it slower. <laughs> yeah, you could. <laughs> I could probably go to sleep. Ah. <laughs> 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 but, we, you know, uh, we got some great knives today to talk about. <laughs> that was a ham-handed segue, sir. It was... No! I liked it. I don't know what I'm doing. It was doing. good. No, we, uh, I'm excited today because we got back from Blade Show, <clears throat> and now we have some really cool knives to talk about that all have kind of the same thing going on with them. Yeah, we're going to dispel some myths today. That's what we're going to do. We are going to be that term I can't use because Discovery Channel owns it. What? There's two guys that stand up. Oh, oh, those guys. Yeah, but that shows that shows off the air now, and Adam Savage won't care. <laughs> we'll, no. we'll throw them in the in the links down at the bottom. Today has one word to it. Yes. And that's it. China. I, I'm, I'm, and I, you know me, I have no problem with a Chinese made knife. I think they're putting out some beautiful. There's there's two different sides to the whole Chinese manufactured no, knife. No, come on, market. let's just say it like it is because you put up a Chinese knife on the internet right no, now. No, sure. And every troll comes out of the woodwork. Every troll comes over, they have to say, yes. "Oh, nothing comes out of China that's any good. Chinese knives are just a bunch of junk. I'd never sure. buy a Chinese knife for putting American people out of business." Yeah. And no, and you're right. The the problem is is that it are there very cost-effective Chinese knives? That the quality might not be, I don't want to say as good, because it's, it, it, you're getting what you're paying for. Right. On the other hand, they're also these, some of which are very cost effective for the materials you're getting, mm-hmm. and some of which are top end, amazing tactical folders that are all coming out of China. Right. I mean, you, you, you can't, it is a shame that as a, as a culture, as a knife culture, we've decided to shame people for the country of origin of their knives. Right. When I'm sorry, if you dig back far enough, the pocket knife as a pocket knife started in Europe. Right. I mean, you know, there's a reason why Sheffield is, you know, was a knife making right place forever. You know, you have pocket knives that the Vikings carried that were folding knives. Uh, you had pocket knives going as far back as people in, in the middle East in Mesopotamia who had a folding knife that literally was a knife that they folded in on itself. And then they took out and actually, you know, screwed the, not screwed, but they actually attached the blade onto the right. handle uh, just for transport. So it, it's not like this is an American invention. Well, let's put the truth out there. There's, there's truths to this, right? So there sure. is, there are Chinese knives that are junk, period. There are American knives that are junk. Bingo. There, there are, are French knives that are, are junk. There are Swiss knives that are junk. Right. There is Well, junk. maybe not any Swiss knives that are junk. <laughs> there are, there is junk <laughs> from everywhere. Of course. Yeah. It's just like, there's different people from everywhere. It, exactly. So you're, you're going to get what you paid for. But here's the thing that kills me in this whole thing is the, the same troll that is slamming us for putting up a Chinese knife is doing it on a Chinese phone. A phone that was made, manufactured, constructed yes. in China. Yes. Yeah. Well, and, and who was probably watching the TV or using a computer that was made in Japan or China. Or Taiwan. Or Taiwan. I mean, it, it really is, it, again, it's a, a knife cultural thing that we need to lose, I think. Agreed. Um, don't, don't go by where the knife's made. Go by what the brand is. Go by what it's used for. Go by the price point. But you can't simply say... This is junk because it's made from this country. Walk into our store, put it in your hand, do something with it. Amen. Do something with it. Because once you have, you'll realize that this knife or some of these knives at the very least are fantastic. We're going to hit one of my favorite brands today. And it's not the most expensive on this table. As a matter of fact, it might be the least expensive. Right. Um, We're going to talk about Rake here in a few minutes. Uh, Phoenix, the the flashlight company, picked them up. Mm -hmm. And when one of our showroom managers, Tom, First brought them up and said, get these on the web. I right. can't keep them in the showroom. Um, and he he stepped into that water very cautiously because it was a new brand. Mm-hmm. But he buys Phoenix for the showroom. Right. And they said, hey, we bought this knife company. And he said, all right, give me six patterns and give me a dozen of each one. And they were gone in a weekend. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> Let's talk about it. Because yeah, I, yeah, it's for sitting sure. right here on the table and I can show it. Wow. And John's going to hit that with camera two and look at it. We'll look at the outside first. So tell me about this handle material. And let's talk about the frame lock and that kind of stuff. Now, this first. is the Rake P831SF. Um, the handle is 3CR14N stainless steel. The blade's 14C28N steel. Mm-hmm. It's a frame lock. It has a reversible thumb stud. 
tip up pocket clip. Um, it is overall seven and six eighths inches long, and the blade is uh, three and three five three and three point three five inches. I'll get that out in a second. I mean, it's a nice knife. It feels good in the hand. 40, I know it cuts well. I carried one around yesterday because I was yeah, playing with it. Forty bucks. Thirty nine ninety nine. Now we're not talking S thirty five VN steel. No, we're no. not talking D two. We're, we're not talking carbon fiber handles or you know some hugely you know uh, hugely ornate knife. But for forty dollars, right? I'll put that in the same line. And I'm going to hold that out. But I mean, look at the look at the inner you know at the frame lock there. Yeah. I mean, we're not talking about a, a cheap little frame lock here. We're talking about a stainless steel frame exactly. lock. Exactly. It actually has a lock to it, which I thought was really cool. I'm to lock it, it open. To not lock closed. it open so you can lock that yeah. uh, in, in the frame lock. And then this can't move. That, that's going to yep. keep your uh, keep that nice and strong. This is a working knife. This is a knife that you're going to use the crap out of. And for 40 bucks, it's not going to break on you. It's going to lock open so you can use it. You can apply pressure to it. Right. It's, it's a fantastic knife. Right. And, you know, you're not talking about 448 stainless steel either. You're talking no. about, uh, what was this one? Because it's here on the back of the blade. It's 14C28N. Yeah. Yeah. Is it great? Is it M90? No. Or M390? No. Sure. But you're also not paying $500 for it. Right. You're you're getting a, a good, solid $40 <laughs> knife with an upgraded steel. Right. With Feel the girth on that. I, I'm, I'm telling you, they just, it fits perfectly in your hand. It moves. The, the movement is very smooth. Right. It flicks open. Um, you know, everybody knows me. Oh, I haven't ever tried it. Oh, look at that. Oh, it won't work. That's sad. Look at the detente. Yeah. <laughs> but it's, it just is a, a, I completely dig this knife. Everything that Rake has in our showroom is just like that. And I right. think their highest end mm. is right at $100, maybe? Uh, less than 80? that. It's right at 80 bucks. I think. Uh, again, I'd have to go back and look. We have all of the, we have everything that we carry in the showroom online now uh -huh. out of Rake. Um, if you go in and like a line and look at them, some of you're going to see are out of stock. So let's, because we can't keep them in stock. Right. Rake is amazing. Let's go a tier above that, which sure. I think is Kaiser, which has been, I would agree. I mean, they have completely stormed onto, uh, onto the field this year and they are really pushing hard marketing. People love Kaiser. I don't know how you did this, but you picked my favorite. Uh, I, I looked in the. I just looked in the counter, and I was like, "Oh man, that Splinter!" This is, is their Ninja Turtle knife. Ninja oh, from Master Splinter. Oh <laughs> my goodness, Splinter! <laughs> Anybody who is our age got that joke. Oh my goodness! I'm um, going to break for some pizza when we hit the break. <laughs> this is the Splinter folding knife. Uh, this is a satin coated VG10 stainless steel blade. It has a black and blue G10 handle. I'm a sucker for G10 in my Carter right now. I love the way that handle looks. Um, it's a liner lock. It's got a blade flipper, a lanyard hole. It's got a reversible tip-up pocket clip. Mm -hmm. Seven and four-eighths inches overall. This knife is $77. 77 bucks. This is a gorgeous knife. And the action on the this action, Kaiser... Mm. It's Kaiser. Yeah. It's Kaiser. But the I know this amazing. about Kaiser, and I'll say this about Kaiser... When you get it out of the box, you're going to have to work it a little bit, but that's because it's made so well. But once you get sure. it where you want it, yeah, mm. it's perfect. And for me, this model fits perfectly in my hand. It's very slim. It fits great in your pocket. If you're wanting a knife just to just to, for an everyday carry, mm -hmm. I don't know that you get much better than that right. in the seventy-seven dollar range. No, and, and then you know, I've gotten used to this whole idea of carrying a slimmer, sleeker knife. Sure. Uh, Dmitry Sinkovich has done that to me, of course, yeah, and. Uh, so this splinter is exactly what I want in an everyday carry. And again, it, it, it's Kaiser. It's a brand that people dig. It is not five hundred dollars out of your pocket. Right, right. under a hundred bucks mm -hmm. at seventy-seven dollars. And I again, this is my favorite of their line right now. Right. Um. I again, the, the somewhere between the look, the feel, the finish, it's just perfect. Right. And here's the thing: Rake Kaiser, China. Sure. And not junk. No, not at all. Beautiful, well-constructed knives that worth giving a shot. Worth giving as a gift. I mean, I, seriously, I'm already looking at one of these as a gift for my wife's uncle. Nice. Um, because he, he was the other day, he, he's a case guy. Right. And he was like, yeah, I really want something a little bit different to carry for a while. Mm -hmm. And I was like, okay, I'm going to get you a rake. He said, um, no, I want a knife. <laughs> 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 um, and I, I sent him the link to a bunch of them. He said, okay, I'm going to check one of the other. They're coming on for, for July 4th. Um, so he's going to check one out. He'll end up walking out with one. 
just right. because of the price point, and he's going to look at it and go, "That really dig that knife." <laughs> it's like he cussed. I'm just going to go. <laughs> 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 it needs to be louder for that. Yeah, you know what the beep means, right? It means we got to we got to throw it to commercial. We do have to throw it to commercial, you know, or at least know, a break. Well, you know, we got to tell them about smkw.com and everything that's you know our sponsors. And what's and that? Smoky Mountain Knife Works website, uh, 18,000 products online. And I don't know if you've, uh, well, I'm going to say that to you, and that's really totally it's disingenuous, really funny. Yeah. but the new search. Oh, oh, I dig it. Oh, my goodness. I dig Guys, it. we spent some time. We put some energy into this. We and some heard, money. We heard you. We yeah. heard you say, your search sucks. It doesn't anymore. No, it doesn't. Um, it's filterable. Um, it starts as soon as you start typing, it starts giving you results back. If you're logged in, it will actually say, here's what you looked at last time. Here's, you know, something you might like that's like this. Um, it, it just is amazing. It starts throwing products at you immediately yep. for you to see. Just Yesterday like I helped a guy try to find a dog leg jack pattern that oh, cool. he wanted. And as immediately I'm typing on my phone, I'm starting to see the yep. dog leg jack patterns. And, you know, the different ones we have, the mini canoe, all of that stuff sitting right there. Amazing. Yeah amazing so check that out at smkw.com if you're not following us already on twitter on instagram on facebook make sure you're doing that make sure you watch this and tune in to itunes and all the kinds of things in your car but we've got to take this break so we'll be right back with more guys talk nine welcome back if you could have seen the dance that jason was just doing during the break, I went to China. Did you? I got four more knives to look at. Nice. Didn't help. <laughs> it was pretty nice that you were able to replace the ones that were already on the table. I did in the exact same order, as a matter of fact. That's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> they came straight from the factory. So if you accidentally flicked your... Uh, that sounds terrible. If you accidentally flicked ahead in the video by accident, we were talking about <laughs> knives from China and how they are not worthless. We are dispelling the myths. The big myth that junk is the only thing you'll get from China. We're bursting. We are. The legend. The legend. <laughs> We're legend bursters. <laughs> legend bursters. <laughs> this year on Discovery Channel. Legend bursters. Leg- Not to be confused. <laughs> sounds dirty. <laughs> sounds legend bursters. Sounds like something you need a Russian accent for. We got a legend bursters here. Sounds like I need an ointment. <laughs> and on that note. <laughs> yes. So we're going to dive in first. Something new we've got that. We're actually in the process during this video of getting these on the website, uh, which means nothing to you because they've been on the website for a couple of weeks now. But this is a new brand we picked up uh, this year. Artisan. Yes. Um, and I, I dig them. Before I pick it up and show it. Yes. I, I want to tell you what makes these awesome. Hit it, yeah. Because my uh, assistant has schooled me completely on this process. She's good at that. Uh, she is the one that's getting these on the web. Yep. So uh, she found them. She fell in love with them. They're awesome. Yep. Uh, the Artisan series, when we have two to look at here, they do something cool. So most times you see a knife out there, you just get one of the pattern, and it's how it comes, and that's it. And unless yeah. they do a sprint run, like Jimmy taught us, what the hell's a sprint run? Sure. Unless you get it a sprint run or something, you're not going to see it in any other way. What Artisan is doing is really cool. They're saying, here is this pattern. This is its shape. This is its function. This is its size. Um, not even size. That's what's awesome, too. Oh, sure. What they're going to do is make it from... Uh, lower end materials all the way to higher end materials yeah. and sell each of the different iterations. So you can go from a G10 D2 uh, steel knife all the way up to a carbon fiber titanium S35VN. Exactly. All in the same shape, a couple of different sizes in that same shape. Sure. They all handle and function well, but if you want to get into it and see if you like it, go the G10 route, put it in your pocket. Then you're like, oh, I love this. Let's Let's do the carbon fiber version. And the craziest thing is even that G10 with D2 uh-huh. is excellent. G10 D2. That was R2-D2's brother. <laughs> <laughs> Very he distant just, cousin <laughs> who was made out of G10 and he got smashed in one of the Star Destroyers. <laughs> that was my, that was that was my G10 D2 yeah. sounds. <laughs> it's like he was missing something. It's like it's a <laughs> circuit board that was screwed up. <laughs> that's my G10 yeah, D2 was did, off yeah. to the side. So this, and speaking of that, this is a G10. This is uh, HR 5860. It's part of it's the tradition series from yeah. from uh, Artisan. Um, G10 details on this knife. Uh, this is a big knife. This is 8.89 inches overall. Uh-huh. Uh, the close length is a little bit over five. Um, don't have the blade length on here, but the blade length is is easily four. 
and it's, some change. It's probably like three and a half to four inches. Yeah. Long. Yeah. Oh, sorry. This one here, three point nine four. So right at four inches. Right. Um. Okay. I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna stop. This is a forty dollar knife. Yeah. This is that lower end of the tradition series. That's a lot of knife for forty bucks. Yeah. And it looks great. The G10 handle on this. Uh, the the thing that I dig the most out of the Artisan series, much like we talked about with Kaiser, is the way that G10 feels in your hand. There's a lot of mm-hmm. texture, a lot of grip. It doesn't move. The the motion, the movement on that flipper on this knife is fantastic. I love the blue pivot. It's that little bit of detail, right? That little bit of detail with Artisan that makes them pop, right? So you're going to move up in this thing. You can move up into a CF range. You're going to sure. get into the eighty buck range, and I think this one goes all the way up to. I want to say one fourteen. I believe that's correct. Yeah. So again, you're not breaking the bank. No, but you, you're going to increase the uh, the uh, quality of the material. Exactly. Right. So you're going to put S thirty five VN in the blade. You're going to put titanium in the handles. You're going to you know put that carbon fiber inlay. Let's jump up and show them what that looks like. Okay. In a different. No, knife. no, that sounds great. So this is their Shark series. A little bit smaller profile on this knife. Um, the Shark Series uh, may be my favorite thing I've seen out of them so far. Oh, this but is Jalen's favorite thing I haven't ever. dug through everything they have yet. Uh, so this is an S35VN 3.15 inch blade. Uh, it has a, you can get it, it's a blue or gray, it's it, a right. bit of both. Right, right. A TC4 handle with carbon fiber inserts. So you've got that carbon fiber accent to make it really pop, make it really stand out. Right. Um, you have a ceramic ball bearing. All of, these, all of these have ceramic ball bearings. You know, I didn't know that. Yes. Okay, that's, that's even better. Yes. So that, that, there's your movement right there. Uh, you have a titanium pocket clip on this. It's ambidextrous. So you can flip it side to side. Um, it is 7.2 inches overall. It's 4 and thir- 4.13 closed. Mm-hmm. This is an amazing knife. It's a great looking knife, but on top of that, it's perfect. No, this this to me is it's what I would perfect. call a modern gentleman's knife. Yeah, it, it's it is an everyday carry if you're wearing a suit, right, or a pair of jeans. Yeah, you put on slacks with this, you're not going to weigh down your pocket. The shark is a really nice little, little knife. It's not going to stand out as being anything huge in your pocket. Uh, you could even just take the pocket clip off and just drop it in your pocket because it's going to stand up to change or coins or whatever, right? Um, keys, whatever you have in there. It's it's a durable, beautiful knife. Now, what's nice, too, is in the Shark series, if you didn't want to spend this type of money, yes, go find the lower end version. Go to right? G10. It's the same shape. Exactly. Right? And I think they make a bigger version than this as well. They do make a bigger version than that. Right? And try it out. See sure. if you like it. That's and, the beauty of artisan. And you can experiment for 40 bucks, and then you can buy this one, which is $129.99, which I'll be honest, 130 bucks. For ceramic ball bearings, S35 S35 VN VN and carbon fiber. Uh Um, Yeah, I'll probably take it. I also, again, it's not in blue, but I love their logo. I love the way it looks. Uh Um, I'm, I am in love with artisans knives right now. If you haven't, if you haven't messed with one, if you're near our showroom, I think we're eight hours from the Eastern, anywhere in the Eastern half of the United States. Good um, to know. I know you come by and, and check it out because these are, these are worth the drive. If you're on vacation, the Smokies, they're worth stopping by on your way in just to play with one of these two and go, yeah, they weren't lying. These are really nice. Yeah. And by the way, made in China. $130 for completely upgraded. That was a left hand open, by the way, for a completely upgraded knife. Let's go higher. Yeah, dig it. Let's go. Oh. Let's go higher. We. <laughs> um, I, I, I said it before. I'll say it again. I can't get through a show without doing no. that. At least one. Their logo looks like two cr- uh, cross-hatched uh, hamburger icons on a website, um, which is one of the reasons why I dig it. This thing, hit it quick. Let's let's just jump through these yeah. because Wii knives are amazing. So this is a Wii knife 610B, stone wash coated, S, uh, S35VN stainless steel blade. It's got a purple coated titanium handle, frame lock, blade flipper with a thumb hole, ceramic ball bearings. It's got a titanium, it has titanium screws and a backspacer. A tip-up pocket clip. It's eight and seven eighths inches overall. Um, that is a gorgeous knife. It's got almost a four-inch blade. And here's the thing: if you like modern-looking knives, if you like that Tron feel, if sure. you like something different than anybody else is doing, we is is it? It's perfect. No, we yeah. is amazing. 
We is amazing. We is. <laughs> we is. <laughs> I, I, I dig everything that they've put out in a, for a long time now. Uh-huh. They're they are one of my favorite companies. That when I came back to, to Smoky Mountain Knife Works uh, a little bit over a year ago, they're one of the companies that I went, wow, I hadn't seen that before. Right. Um, and I, I dig it. And last but last oh, not oh, least. Wait, wait hang wait, on. Wait. I almost forgot. This is $280. $280 for upgraded everything. Yeah, no, it's a gorgeous knife at a great price yeah. for what you've got in it. Right? And then, of course. Ooh, time to drool, everybody. It's a Re8. It's a Re8. It's a Re8 Fallout 2.0. Yeah, I, I dig this knife as well. I'm going to start out with the price. $435. Yeah. $435. But here's what you get for that. In a six inch overall knife, mm-hmm. you get a mirror polished CTS 240P stainless steel blade. You get a titanium handle, not titanium coated, a titanium handle. So it is as light as it can possibly be. And then they've stonewashed it and textured it. And it is yeah. crazy. It's, it's crazy. <laughs> um, it has one of the best frame locks that I've ever seen. Uh, flip right. it up back over to the, to the belly of the knife. Look how big. And deep that frame lock is. It's not going to fail on you. That's one of the reasons why I dig a frame lock. Um, I, well, and as we always point out, the yeah. action on a re eight is just incredible. And where was that made? China. Who'd have thought? Hey, they were great at the blade show. I mean, oh yes, they, yeah. they always have the owner of the company right there. Uh, he has two young ladies that work with him. They translate for him. Yes, and uh, they were fun. And so. and they're a big believer in here. No, pick this up. Hold this knife. Right. See what you think. So, guys, you can go from thirty nine ninety nine all the way up to what four twenty five is what four four thirty five four thirty five yeah all from China yes let's get that out of this thing I mean China there is some junk that comes out of China none of it's on this table none of it is here on this table guys no not at all you I mean can you, pick up- you have six knives here that I would carry any day of the week and twice on Sunday right I would bet on it yeah you know why I would bet on it because I have. SMKW playing cards that I'm wow. going to give away in this Ooh. episode. I've got five decks of cards, guys. These are these are brand new. It's one of our kind of cool things that we do here. Well, and these are special because they're also uh, 40th anniversary. Yeah, they are 40th anniversary cards. Full deck of playing cards, including our own Trump card. So, reply in a comment. Tell us yeah. what you think. Leave a comment on YouTube. Leave a comment on Facebook. You'll be automatically entered for this drawing of one of five decks of uh, playing cards that I'm going to give away. Remember to subscri- subscribe to our channel. If you're on YouTube, make sure you ring that bell. Make sure, make sure you're tuning in to iTunes and all those other yeah. places. We are brought to you by Smoky Mountain Knifeworks, smkw.com, the largest knife store in the world. Easily. The largest knife shop. Eight to 18,000 products online. And, and growing. growing. And growing every single day. We appreciate you tuning in. Make sure you hit those notifications so you get to us each and every time. And we'll see you later. And something about Guys Talk Knives. Yeah, watch more Guys Talk Knives.